Hello and welcome back to Draw with Boba. Today we will be drawing a 3D B from Alphabet Lore in Procreate. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get started. We're gonna start with a decent sized document around the size of your iPad, just to, just to make it easy. And we're gonna select a nice blue color for our B. Let's go a little bit bluish pink. That's looking good. And now we're gonna use our studio pen in inking menu to start our B shape. For the B, we're gonna start with a big straight line down on the side, maybe to there. And let's do the two B shapes on either side. Just two humps and then connect it back down. And we don't need to fill in the inside. We just need to drag our color and we have it filled. Super easy. And now we want to add some depth. So we're going to add a new layer, drag it below, go slightly darker. Let's add some dimension. The easiest way is to draw out these lines from our B at the same angle. And then we are going to go zoom in and connect it by following the outside line. Like so. One. Let's follow this one. Two. I think this one could improve, be improved just a little bit. That's looking good. Then I'm just going to connect this point to this point so I can pour in the color. And just using the eraser tool, we could clean up the shape just a little bit. looking good now we can move on we need a few more shapes we need an eye shape so we're going to go above the original layer using the same color we had before let's draw in the first eye it's going to land right around here and it's just going to be a nice almost squarish shape fill that in and we want to add another eye behind, just a little taller, right around here. Let's go up, cross down, and fill that in. Oops, didn't connect all the way. Fill it in. Seems like we're on the wrong layer. Let's undo everything. Make sure it's a layer above the original B, but below this. Let's try that again. Oh, perfect. Now we want a mouth layer and a nose layer. For the mouth is going to be below both eyes. Let's just use a little grayish color. And it's going to start right below the eye. Go up and connect. Let me just connect it here. And we can fill it in with the gray. That's looking good. And we need one more layer for the nose. Selecting the same color as the base. Let's go out in up and fill in the nose now for the eyes we need to add the whites of the eyes so we're going to add a layer above one of the eyes go to clipping mask select that switch it to the same gray a little bit lighter than the mouth gray let's just draw in a line for the eyes it seems like i'm uh, working on the back eye not the front eye so let's just do that real quick just draw a line, fill it in, and then add a new layer of clipping mask also. Let's do a black this time. Let's just draw in the nice cube. 
for the iris. Looking good. Same thing on this eye. Create a layer, clipping mask. Let's select this white. Make sure you're on the new layer. Let's create the second eye in front. It's a little droopy, so we can move it up just a little bit more. New layer, clipping mask, go there, draw in the second eye right here. Perfect. And now we can get started with shading. Before we do that though, alpha lock H layer, double tap, alpha lock, all the way down. This will help us shade without worrying about going outside the lines. Let's see, let's select this color first. Go to airbrush, select soft brush. Let's select a nice rich blue and shade in maybe half of it, just a little bit. Go really light at first. So we have more room to play with the shadows. And now we can do some light shading on the sides for the shadows. And then I'm just gonna do some light shading underneath the eye. Almost as if it's casting a little shadow. A little to the back. And same thing for the mouth, just on the edge. Oops, we got a little mark here. Let's erase that. Let's move over to the background B. Same thing, go with a much, not much, but a little bit darker color. Let's see if we can really get this 3D effect going in this crevice area. Going darker as it goes down. So, maybe a little bit lighter. As it goes up. It's looking good. I'm going to use a lasso tool right here. Select that area, go to the paintbrush, go with an extra dark color, and really chisel in that fold. Now moving over to the eyes, we could do the same thing by selecting the color, going a little darker, and let's add some shadowing. I haven't switched brushes, it's still the big airbrush going through each layer, adding a nice strong shadow. And for the whites of the eyes, I would like to go back to the pure white, and then select a nice subtle bluish gray, just get the edges, just so we can start seeing the whites. And then you can go a little bit darker just for the shadowing, right above the lid. And maybe a little bit towards this contact point between both eyes, like so. Let's do the same for the other white. Go white first, so we have room to get dark. So just going to paint that back out. Like so. 
Now we can work on the black iris. Start off with the blue color. Just gonna get a nice black, pure black color and wash it in from the top. Same on this one. And finally the nose and mouth. Mouth, same thing, go white. And then I'll allow us to have some room. For some shading. around the mouth. And we're gonna add a new layer, clip it to that, and go back to inking. We need to add the lines for the teeth. We select this dark color, try that out. That's looking pretty good. I wanna use a studio pen for this. We just need two lines to get started. I don't think we need a third one. And that's good. And now we just want to go throughout the whole picture and then add more depth. But before we do that, let's add in a little bit of highlights in the eye. So we're going to go to eye layer. Actually, we can do a layer above everything. Select the lasso tool and let's draw in some square highlights. With your brush, going back to airbrush. Let's select the white and softly wash it in. Nice white highlight, just subtly. Let's see what that looks like. That's looking good. Maybe clean up the edges with the eraser. That's the nice thing about working in layers. You could just clean up the edges and not ruin the rest of the work we did. Below. Now I'm going to go throughout the whole picture and refine our 3D shape. You could go as far as you want. Now that you have the main B done, we can add in some highlights. So I'm going to switch to a black background. I go into the background layer and turn it black, just so we have some more contrast for our highlights. Adding a new layer and going back to the inking pen. Let's go to inking studio. Let's see if we can add in some nice blue highlights. Make our drawing look extra glossy. Using the eraser tool at a light opacity and then switching it to airbrush. We can just soften up the highlights just a little bit. Except for the eyes. And there you have it. A 3D B from Alphabet Lore. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.